From the White House to the campaign trail, the prisoner swap is getting mixed reviews. Here's Juliana Goldman. This is a good day. Speaking just hours after the American prisoners began their journey home, President Obama hailed their release as a result of smart and disciplined diplomacy. The United States has never been afraid to pursue diplomacy with our adversaries. And as president, I decided that a strong, confident America could advance our national security by engaging directly with the Iranian government. We've seen the results. His remarks stand in stark contrast to Republican presidential candidates who today argued that negotiating with Iran makes the U.S. less secure. Whether it's over the release of American civilians. This should have happened years ago, George. We're giving them $150 billion. This shouldn't be happening now. American sailors. Ultimately, they released them, but only after achieving what they wanted from it, and that is to prove that if they wanted to, they can grab American sailors and subject them to this treatment. Or a deal to curb Iran's nuclear program. It reflects a pattern we've seen in the Obama administration over and over again of, of negotiating with terrorists and making deals and trades that endanger U.S. safety and security. Democratic presidential candidate and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said talking to Iran makes the world a safer place. This is the kind of smart diplomacy I was proud to be a part of in the uh, first administration of President Obama that we're just going to have to be persistent with. The president said profound differences remain between the U.S. and Iran, and the administration today announced new penalties on 11 individuals and entities involved in Tehran's ballistic missile program. Jeff, most Iranians would never feel those sanctions, and they're tiny compared to the $100 billion in frozen funds it released with the Iran deal's implementation. Juliana, thank you.